All right, I like to put the sprag in first. First steel plate. Then alternate clutches and steels. I'm going to put the thick pressure plate on top. And the snap ring. At this point, we're going to put our apply sleeve in and we're going to air apply this to make sure we have hydraulic integrity in the back section of the trans before we go any further. Okay, this apply sleeve goes in here, rubber end facing towards the drum, and we could check our second clutch pack. As you see, there's no leakage. Check our low reverse clutch pack. After we find the right hole, there we go. And that applies 100%. Next, we're going to put our sun gear in. Front planetary. Now you're probably not going to be able to see it, but we're going to have to put our output shaft in and then put this clip on. Try and get a shot in here. Unlikely you're going to be able to see too much. check to make sure that's seated correctly. Going to one piece. Grab this, try and do it gently so you don't bang up the splines or anything like that. Put our band in first. And that's the sound you're going to here when it's fully seated. And the sounder support you want to just lube up the outside and real gentle putting it in because it's very very tight in the case and you want to make sure that your two bolt holes are going to line up correctly here.
now we have to install our bolts. After that's all the way down, I'm going to put our bolts in just loosely. At that point, we get this large snapper in. You'll see there's a taper on it. This taper always sits the way I have it here. The snap ring has to index with the opening facing this hole, otherwise it interferes with the valve body getting put down. This overdrive clutch retainer is kind of difficult to install. You can do it on the bench or with the trans put together, which is the way I prefer to do it. <laughs> 